I had an app idea, taught myself how to code, built it, launched it, and got it to over 10,000 users in the first 60 days. And I did all of this without any following on any social media platform. And I'm going to show you how you can use the strategies that I used to get your first 100 customers for your own software business. So you're probably thinking now, well, how did you actually learn to code and build this product yourself? And then also, how did you market it to get all of these users? In this video, I'm going to focus exclusively on how I marketed it. Now, we're going to just break this down to the basic level here. We want to get our first testing users. So the way that I did this is I went to LinkedIn and I got a two week free trial on Sales Navigator. I then downloaded two and a half thousand leads of people in the business space or the industry that my product would target. And then I got onto a sales call demo with them just by messaging them individually and asking if they'd like to see what the product does. Now on this call, I showed them what the product does. I showed them the benefits and the features. And all the time I was basically just listening to see what they thought of it. And then I asked them if this was something that they would use and nine out of 10 people said they would. So at this point, I knew that my product was ready. I knew people would pay for it. I knew people would use it. I then launched on TikTok. Now, this is really how you're gonna get your first 100 customers. All you need to do is identify your sales funnel. When I say a sales funnel, I'm really referring to how you're going to convert the traffic from your website into customers. Now, I'm not interested in bringing on free users for my product. I don't think it's valuable for me as a business or for my product at all. The only thing I care about is the users who are gonna join and pay and use my product for their business. So I implemented a free trial. This is probably the most important thing I've learned in the last eight months of scaling this software company. Try and monetize from day one, especially if you're going to be marketing on TikTok. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I market on TikTok? Maybe you don't wanna show your face or you're not sure what to say or how to create a video. And I'll explain in a second how you're gonna do all of that by giving you an example. But the really important thing to remember here is TikTok is incredibly explosive. Now, the first few videos you post are very unlikely to go viral. If they do, however, go viral, you wanna make sure that that traffic is being used in a way that's going to benefit you and your business. In other words, you wanna make sure the people that come from that traffic and download or use your software are then able to pay for it and are going to get a good experience. This is why we tested it in the early stage with LinkedIn users and now we have a free trial. Okay, so what do I actually say on this video? How do I create the content? Well, all you really need is a phone, obviously, to film the content and you need to understand your user. Who is it that will be using your product? And more importantly, what interests them? Now, the way I like to think of this is a funnel. So a typical marketing sales funnel. At the very bottom of this funnel is your end user. This is your core audience. This is the customer that you would like to acquire. The first mistake I see most newbies make is they focus on the bottom part of that funnel. They focus on the small audience who is their exact customer. But the problem with this is there's not enough people in that audience. You're just not gonna get any reach. People are just gonna see you as advertising your product and they're not gonna purchase. So instead what you want to do is focus on the top of the funnel. Now, we're gonna take an example here of students. So students is a very broad market. So the first thing is we need to identify on which part of that audience we're focusing on. Especially if our product is just meant for A-level or university students, we wanna make sure our content is slightly higher level and is going to interest that demographic. Now we've got an idea of our audience, we wanna keep thinking bigger. What is it that's gonna make them entertained? So the easiest way for me to explain this is to show you what not to do. So I've written down here some examples and I've actually sent this out in today's newsletter as I'm filming this. So if you want to get access to sort of behind the scenes information, all of this stuff is in the newsletter. So you want to make sure you're not creating a video that has this kind of script. If you're a student and you struggle with managing your revision, watch this. Head to yourwebsite.com, create an account, click on this, upload this and do that. Right? This is not what you want to be doing. This is essentially a mini tutorial showing off your product. The problem with this is nobody's going to want to watch that video. The chances of that video going viral or getting more than 100 or 200 views is very, very slim. The other problem is you haven't really focused on the pain point and you haven't really in any way focused on the largest part of the audience. You're going directly for the bottom of that funnel. So instead, what you actually want to do is this. And I took this from an example that I saw on TikTok and it's quite a useful example to display this and I've basically adapted it ever so slightly. So this is an example of college students or an app that's designed for college students. So it starts off with, if Yale was honest, that's the hook. And then we say, welcome to Yale. 
your entire personality as a Yale student is going to be shitting on Harvard. At this point we're going to fill in an entertaining skit or we're going to follow along with this. Then I basically adapted this and I've said, but really you're not as special as Harvard. Let's face it, you need some extra tuition. Uh, so head to yourproduct.com and, and then insert your elevator pitch for your app, like exactly why it is that they would head to your website. Maybe your product helps them learn, I don't know, whatever your product is. But you can see by creating a video like that, we're actually targeting a much bigger audience. The other important thing to note here is we're in some ways alienating part of the audience. Now, you've got to be careful about how you do this, but in this one, we are pitching Yale against Harvard. So what's going to happen is in the comments, you're going to get people who are fans of Yale being like, this is rude, you can't say this about us, I hate Yale. And then in the Harvard comments, you're going to get people saying, uh, you know, Harvard's better, this is so true, stuff like that. Right, so you're actually creating an argument and a conversation in the comments. The second thing is you've highlighted some ways the pain point, which is the person who is actually from Yale does need extra tuition. Maybe 100,000 people saw the video, and out of that, 5,000 people actually do need extra tuition or do need more help with their work. So they will be the ones that go ahead and click on your website. So what you're doing is you're focusing on the top of the funnel. At the top of the funnel, you're getting literally everybody in that audience with the knowledge that in that audience, you will have some potential customers. And those customers will see your elevator pitch, it will resonate with them, they will go to your website and then they will purchase. You can see how we're actually hacking the algorithm essentially to be able to give more content or more views for people to come in and then buy our product. And from this you can very easily get your first 100 users for your software. But for context, the first video that I posted showed off my product and it was actually a very bad ad. I got very lucky with the first video that I posted. It got 130,000 views and it got me 752 new users for my software in the first 24 hours. Now, about 30% of those people signed up for a free trial. If you guys wanna hear anything else about how to grow your software company, leave them down below in the comments and I'll be happy to make another video. If you guys wanna get some more behind the scenes on how you can learn all these different skills, well, I've actually got a free newsletter down below which you can go ahead and sign up for as well where I teach you stuff like I just showed you. But I will see you guys in the next video.